What's up? All right, so today I started off differently. Took a shower beforehand again. I'm gonna try to just take a shower every day when I wake up. Makes things a little bit quicker and gets me ready to go better. So anyway, plan for today, I only have a couple things left to wrap, and I'm not gonna finish them because a couple will need a little work. So the things left to wrap are the headlight covers and then three of the four flares. I've wrapped already one and then the rest are done. And then one wing end plate, or not wing end plate, um, that screw end plate. Anyway, plan for today is since it's a nice day out, or nice day, it's not raining, which means it's a nice day. What I want to do is I would like to just go out in the garage and try to patch up all the flares as best I can. So um, with the front flares, they came in like two pieces and I cut them to three thinking it'd look better and it didn't, so now I could put them back together. So now I have three different pieces of flares that I need to go back in together as one. And I'd like to make them molded because I think that looks best. I did a little Photoshop at it once and it just looked best without looking to see the patches. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. Oh man, let's see. So yeah, I think I'm going to go out there, I'm going to get the flares. And then I think I'll just try to patch them together, or at least get them to hold together strongly because I had a little problem with them wanting to come apart um, after I patched them last time. So, see so if I can get some stronger patches together, maybe fix the last, the third flare that isn't the front flare, and that one needs to get the gas catch, cap patched. Anyway, just see all this, let's go out and pull the flares, the flares out in the garage, and I'll meet you out there with the flares out, and we'll decide what to do next. So, then we have our three flares one, two, and three. This is the back one. So this is pretty much done. What all that needs to be fixed is, boom, right in there, the gas cap thing. Since it doesn't come with one, uh, I made one, but it came off when I was taking it off the car. So that needs to be fixed. And then these are the other flares. This is the front one. Got a little crack there. It had been cut before to make it fit better. But you need to patch that up. Um, and this, this didn't snap off, but here's the thing that I'm talking about. So. I had these pieces, let's just say it's this one for reference, and in fact it may actually be. So you fit this piece on the end here, and then these are not the pieces I'm looking for. Actually it'd be like you fit this on there, and then just for reference, you then fit this piece on top there. There you go, that's how it's actually done fit that piece on top there to make that fit because at first I'd cut it here and then made these two separate pieces um, between the bumper and the flare and the body but now I'm just going to do it all as one like that. So I need to find the other two pieces for the bottom flare and then um, and then I'm going to shut up because I talk way too much. Next thing you're going to see me is doing is attempting to patch the flares so um, probably just skip to a time lapse of me Riveting things together and Bondo and all that fun jazz. Woohoo! But I got my black coffee and we ready to roll. Alright, I got one of the front flares done for the most part. I think this is the front right one. Um, let me guys show you what it's like. So disregard this ugly mess. That was just there before when I was trying to rivet the place together because uh, I just had to get it going. But actually it came out quite nice. I glued the back of each side. And the cool part was that I thought was the best part about it is that uh, when this broke off, actually, um, this side broke off and stayed on this side and this one broke off and stayed on that side, which meant when you put them together, it was super easy just to get them all tied in in there and then uh, cut the clamp there to hold it. This one, it's being held on by this one rivet right here, um, which is holding it in place so that way the front, um, it's even this direction and then the silicone on the back is extra glue to hold it in. Now the reason I'm using silicone and not just like a hard base is because I'm not 100% sure where it's going to fit on the car right now so when the silicone dries that stuff is pretty strong. I'm, it's pretty strong stuff so it's going to hold it together and then uh, the silicone will let it me so I'll be able to twist it just a bit to see where I want to get that body line finished and so once I, this is dry I'm going to go put it up against the car on the far side there. Um, kind of press it against, see where it needs to be, and then I'll start filling the body. So, now for the other flare, I think what I'm going to do is, since I don't know where the pieces are for this other front flare that goes here at the moment, I think I'm going to take this back flare um, right here, and we need to, well, first off, we need to patch this as well, 
but we also need to make this inserts for the gas cap. So let me run this over and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So this goes right in here. There you go, hope you guys can see there's the gas cap. I'm holding up as best I can with one arm while leaning over. But that's where it goes, and I need to make those inserts that go there so you're not seeing straight through the body and water's not being kicked up through there. So those shouldn't be too awful hard to make. It looks a little messy because it came apart all disgusting like when I took it apart. So it's going to need some patchwork, but it should just be tedious work. Just a bunch of sanding and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up, and we will... I'm not sure entirely what to make some. I really want to make them, oh, there's a the camera going weird again. I really would like to make them out of plastic or ABS, but the problem is that our bandsaw is broken, and there goes the camera again. But yeah, our bandsaw is broken, which means that making straight, easy cuts is really hard, and all I really have is an angle grinder. So what I'm actually thinking is I'm gonna use sheet metal, because um, I can use, not tin snips, but I have some nice, robust scissors that aren't tin snips that I could use to cut the sheet metal. So I'm thinking I may just cut a piece like that. First, make the template with cardboard, cut out the piece, fold it in, um, set it in, and then um, just fill in the rest. So, uh, goal for the end of the day is to have all the flares ready and prepped to be filled. Um, I may go play basketball here in a bit, so I'm not entirely sure how much it'll be finished, but I'm pretty freaking excited about this. This is, of course, that's in the right direction. But yeah, I was getting pretty excited this morning when I woke up and I was thinking of what to do. And I realized that all wrapping left was flares and then side skirt, which side skirt is coming tomorrow. I have a full day off tomorrow, um, not working, just wasn't scheduled to work, which is fine. Uh, I don't mind it because this is my last week of summer before school starts. So tomorrow's the side skirt, that whole thing should be done. So theoretically, by the end of the week, the entire car should be looks wise completed. Um, and I may just get super excited. Oh, I don't know if it'll be done. I have to do curb rash. But, oh, perfect world. I'll be able to drop the car off jack stands and see what it looks like, roll it out and get some pecs. We'll see. Fingers crossed, but probably not gonna happen. Oops, sorry. So I'm gonna take a quick little break right now, find the other pieces for the flare, um, get those set out, and then finish the two flares. I can't find that one piece, um, and I'm not gonna waste any more time on it today, because uh, I wanna get to work on that back flare. So, excuse me. What I have is this piece right here, this piece, oh man, again, geez, getting the hiccup burps. Anyway, I got another piece like this right here, um, and we're just going to cut out a little, oh, I can't, I can't describe it. We're going to cut something out, but I don't have enough hands, so it's just going to fill that in. One piece, um, it's going to be glued in, it'll work just fine, it worked just fine before, then we'll go to filling that over. But something I, I oh man, I was, so I was taping up this back here, because uh, this comes up and if it comes up it'll hit this so I don't want that to happen so I taped it up because I already made have made a little scratch in there but I'm going to do a new wing design um, I really wanted to keep this a secret or I didn't want to keep the secret I just wanted to save it for a later date man oh how do I describe this anyway this trunk's pretty beat up there's a bunch of holes there uh, that's the windshield wiper actually I'm probably gonna keep that because I use it a lot uh, holes all over the back side is a bunch of bunk, and I really want to try something new. So I have my old duct tape wing. Ah, oh, I don't know if I should give any hints yet. It's coming. It'll be probably weeks down the road, but there's a new wing design coming. I probably will keep the chest mount wing. By the way, chest mount wing is for sale. $800 shipped to anywhere or local pickup. I live in Salem, Oregon. If any of you guys want it, $800, and it's yours. I know a lot of you guys like the wing. I like the wing, but I need to fund my projects. If you want to buy it, it's for sale. If not, I got another wing design coming that'll complement that and will just freaking look ridiculously sick. So that's a tangent I'm coming. I really got to get to work on this flare. Sorry guys. Um, I'm going to set you guys down on the camera. We're going to get some things measured up. You'll probably see me cutting a bit and we're going to get that next flare prepped and ready to at least be sanded. Sorry for not filming that. Um, I just I was bouncing between the table here and the other side of the car. Uh, back and forth and doing a bunch of test fitting all over so I just I wasn't able to really film anything but uh, it's super simple what I did I just laid it in there glued it on the back side taped it in and then use that silicone sealant to seal it back keep it waterproof get a nice seal that stuff again super strong it looks gonna hold excuse me I got the sniffles so that's really it for that once that dries and the other one dries I'm gonna 
go ahead and sand prep and then wrap those. That'll probably come later this week. Uh, for the other flare, still can't find the other piece. So the bright side, I did find one piece. It was already attached. So right there and right here, two different pieces. So that's great on the hunt for one more. I'll keep you updated when it goes. I think I got, I don't know the time actually. It's 1041 right now. You probably didn't even see that, but that gives me a few more hours till I have to get out. I have basketball at one, so that leaves me two hours pretty much. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna attack next. Huh, it's actually a good problem to have. I don't wanna, okay, so I told you I had those other things to wrap. The reason I'm not doing those is because I, uh, I just wanna say those for a rainy day because I know rain's coming in Oregon soon. And plus I'm gonna be starting up school and it'll be a lot easier to do smaller projects like that in my room. I'm about having to go outside and get everything all prepped and uh, set to go and make a big mess. So what I think I'm actually gonna do, I wanna look into making the wing able to fold backwards. So one of the problems I had when I, uh, actually I don't even know if this wing came able to fold backwards, but the thing with this mount is this mount should actually be tilted 90 degrees in that direction in order to fit correctly. So as you can see, I only have two bolts here and there should be four, but it holds up just fine. There's no wiggle play with all, all that just is just flexed front to back. There's literally no movement at all. And I've had it that way for, I was running it for a couple months before my car was down and it held up just perfectly. But yeah, so there's that. I also have to wrap the side trim, though that's also a rainy day project. I have to do the tail lights, that's a rainy day project. So I think what I'm going to do is going to make this wing able to fold down. So the way I have in mind is if you see this bolt right here and you see this hole right here. So what I wanna do is I wanna take this bolt out right here um, and then I wanna make like a cotter pin bolt. So a bolt with just a pin through it so that way when it goes back I could fold it into there. The only thing I'm worried about is that it may be a little too tight. Um, 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 um. So first let me just take this bolt out. We'll test and see if I can even get it to fit. Uh, if I can, then I'll just get right back to you on that. Okay, so that turned out a lot easier than I thought. As you can see, you can see where the paint stops right there when I re-sprayed this black. And that bolt fits the right there perfectly. But take that out and uh, yeah, it just folds right back up, nice and even to go. Pop the bolt in, screw it in, you're good. Pull it back, you're great. The thing is I don't move the trunk a lot. So the plan is I'll just keep a however many millimeters rent. If it's a 12, I think I lost the 12, but anyway, that's that's good to know. So, 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 oh man, I'm not entirely sure what to do next that. That was actually really quick. And now that I know it gets out, that's actually just about all I needed to do with that anyway. So, um, well, that's zoomed in. Hello, that's my nose. I think I'm gonna take the wing deck and try to get it back on now. Um, it's sitting over there on the side and I kinda just wanna get it out of the way anyway. Um, and then I have the end plates, but I'm not gonna do those yet because I still need to laser etch them. As well as there's something else that's gonna laser etch and I totally blanked on what it is. Cause my dad has a laser etcher. Perfect, I am set for that. So, oh yeah, license plate frames. I also have to get two license plate frames. Uh, back one needs one cause it's just flimsy and I really wanna cover on there and save for the front, but I'll get those etched those. So let's just go ahead and start by getting the wing back on. I think the bag's up in my room somewhere with this six or eight screws or 12 screws or however many screws there are. Anyway, let's go get the wing deck, set it on there, go find the screws and get that on. All right, wing is back on. That's pretty happy. Pretty happy, that is awesome. So, there's the wing, big old deck. I did take the end plates off because I have other ones coming. I think I literally just said that before I started the video. But, yes, there you go, seeing that little peak. That's good, this glares right in your face. Let me run around to this side. Maximum effort, oh yeah, yes. That's awesome. So the back end is looking a lot more complete and I'm really liking that, how that's looking. That's great. Um. I feel like there's more to do. I, God, Lee. Hello, lighting. You are impossible to find. Um, 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 um. Hey guys, Philip Super here. 
I'm not entirely what, sure on what to do next. I will get back to you guys in just a second. All right, so I think I'm actually just gonna call it a day here. It's been a fairly good day, but um, I'm a lot scattered out and I just wanna clean up a little bit and find that other piece. I can't find it. It's frustrating the poop out of me. So I gotta look around more for that. Um, the wings attached, that's fantastic. There's a little hint of what's gonna come. No, that whole ducktail isn't going on. But what I wanna do is I'd love to do a molded trunk spoiler, so I'm thinking of, oops, crack that. But chopping it like there, and then doing the same for the other side, just chopping it in there, then having to come up and then mold it into one thing. So that'll mean unwrapping and rewrapping the trunk. Um, but that'll come at the very end, after the car is all together, and then we'll see um, if we even have enough wrap for that. Because I also want to do the rear bumper, and if we have enough for the rear bumper, but not the, um, the spoiler thing, then we're going to do the rear bumper. Anyway, that's really about it for today. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again, as per usual. If you guys want to see more updates, follow me on Instagram. There's more updates coming out sooner than when I could post this on YouTube. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Tomorrow will be a side skirt video doing uh, how to make these side skirts. The side splitter is complete from here down to there. I'll walk you through these two steps, um, how I did them, because they're already complete. And then I'll show you how to do that and attach them to the top the way I did. You guys probably will have a better way, but this is the way I did it and it works for me. So that's really about it. Um, don't forget, dislike, unsubscribe, leave your head in the comments, guys. Bye.